Hey everyone, welcome to Princess Gay. I'm your host, Connie, and today we are announcing the winner of the new poll show. Uh, so, as you know, we hosted a new poll to determine what is going to temporarily replace uh, Vox Machina Season 2. It is going on break. It is not being dropped. We will be coming back to it, and I just want to reiterate, the reason is because lately I've been feeling, I guess you could say, kind of burnt out on it. And I, I need some time away. I need some time away from Vox Machina to kind of refresh myself and get back to it with a with a better mindset going in. Um, I don't want to force myself to continue through it, you know? So we held a poll that started at the end of last week, and I said it would go to the beginning of next week, till, till Monday. So here we are. <laughs> Time to announce the winner of the poll. Um, it it didn't have a lot of votes this time, but it was still a bit of a runaway. Uh, the Imperfects win. Um, it, it beat out all the others. It got six votes out of 11. I, I think it's pretty clear. Um, and while it is the new addition to the poll, the other two have been on there already. Um, at least I believe both of the other two have. I know Hellbound has for sure. But either way, um, it's, I, I'm wondering if it was chosen because of Inyaki Godoy being in it. Um, I, I did mention that when I announced the poll. Um, and if that's the case, you know, fair enough. <laughs> Um, and Yaki Godoy was a, a, a great casting for Luffy in the live-action One Piece. I can't complain. Uh, and I definitely do want to see more that he's in, so... Hey, fair enough. Um, I don't know anyone offhand who's in Hellbound, but I do know Kaleidoscope has Giancarlo Esposito from Breaking Bad, uh, the Harley Quinn show he's in. Um, he's also in, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. He's the voice of Baxter Stockman in that. Minor role, mind you, but still. Uh, yeah. So, The Imperfect, just as a reminder, all I know about it is that Inyaki Godoy is in it, and it's supernatural to some degree. That's all I know. Um, I don't know who else is in it. I don't know what it's actually about story-wise. But I'll talk more about that when we get to the first episode. So... Yeah, uh, this will be replacing Vox Machina Season 2 for now, but once we're finished or whatever, uh, Vox Machina Season 2 will return. Um, like I said, we're just taking a break so I can refresh myself on it because I've just been having a hard time finding any motivation to get to it lately. So, yeah, um... I feel like part of it might also be because I, I've watched a lot of reactions to it. And, and watching not only the show, but also a shit ton of reactions to this series, maybe it has burnt me out. It has, like, made me, like, just it's just too much. Um, there's other shows that I watch a lot of reactions to as well. But I, I think this one was like, I was really going ham on it. Because there are a lot of Vox Machina reactions out there. And, and I think I was just, I was going a little too hard on those and watching too many at once. And it just, that's what did it, I feel. But also the fact that I haven't been enjoying season two as much as season one. That is definitely a factor. Unquestionably. Um, But... Hopefully, taking this little break will give us enough time. I don't know how many episodes Imperfects is offhand. I'll mention that when we get to that. Um, but yeah, it's pro knowing Netflix, it's probably like, what, 10 episodes? Um, but yeah. So, once again, this will be a temporary thing. Um, it's just taking over for the time being. Um, if you have any questions, any thoughts... Anything you want to add in the comments below, please feel free. For now, I'm Connie and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.